Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Melissa. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Here is some dog food and uh, the lucky babies that get to eat it. So these are my precious babies, Murder Nova, Knox Bentley, Jameson Jacks, and Tennessee Nash. And all that 60 pounds of food turns into this. So this is what we do. We store all of it in Tupperware and babies get two of those a day. One for breakfast, one for dinner. Alright, so let's start in the usual spot in the kitchen. And it's going to start off with feeding the babies this morning. So it's breakfast time on Saturday morning. So these are uh, the portions that we made last night. So you can see there. So that is chicken, chicken bone, and chicken organs that all get ground up together. That is what they get for breakfast and dinner. So uh, a pound for breakfast and a pound for dinner for each dog. And they absolutely gobble it up. Um, if you're interested in a raw diet, you can uh, message me on Instagram. I can talk to you a little bit more about it. I am in no way an expert, and I would definitely recommend you speak to your vet, but uh, a lot of vets don't recommend raw diets because they don't know enough about them. But uh, in my opinion, they're the best. So I got some new creamer at Costco. So this is the Starbucks uh, Caramel Mochiato. It's actually really good. It's super duper sweet. So that was uh, the first time I tried it and to put a little bit too much in, but it was so delicious. Uh, very sugary, so don't put too much in the coffee. All right, so let's start with the usual, the dishes. I can't deny 
Just please give me a call. Bye. Bye. I'll be stuck in my head Think I need to escape Feels like I'm waiting Do you feel the same? My mom used to say That no matter your things At the end of the day You only wanna feel safe But I'd rather walk into a space recycling bin with Lysol uh, every time I, I take everything out just to give it a good clean and uh, deodorize and decontaminate I guess um, but I let the Lysol sit I don't know anywhere from like five minutes to an hour depending on what I'm doing so I just walked away and did some other stuff uh, let it sit it probably sat for about an hour uh, before I put the garbage bag back in and closed up the cupboard drawer whatever it's called I don't know where the garbage in the recycling bin sit So now I'm just going to clean out the sink, so I'm just going to rinse out the sides from doing the dishes and uh, use my Dawn Power Wash. I, I don't use it to wash dishes, I just use it to clean out the sink. Um, I find that it, well it smells really great, the citrus one, the plain Jane uh, unscented one like the regular Dawn scent, it kind of smells a little funky but the citrus one smells really great and I find that it cleans the stainless steel really really well so I just give it a good scrub uh, for cleaning this, this sink out. Fiber cloth just give everything a little dry down. Um, I find it helps the stainless steel not uh, to look dull. It keeps it shine really nice when I, I dry it with the microfiber cloth.
So basically just an overview, house is kind of clean, kind of dirty, and we're just going to work on it. Just the usual cleaning on the Saturday and Sunday. So just going to use my 7th generation granite and stone cleaner on my island. Uh, my counters are quartz, so that cleaner works very well. It's safe for all stone and granite, obviously. And it smells really good. I think it's, uh, it's citrus. I think it's mandarin and tangerine scent that I have, but uh, it smells really good. So I just used that same microfiber cloth that I dried the sink with just because it was a little bit damp. <clears throat> so I find it just glides a little bit easier on the, the countertop when the cloth is a little bit damp. So now I'm going to go with my Method anti bath. Um, I love this stuff. I think it smells freaking fantastic and it, I don't know what the smell is but I really like it. So I'm going to spray it and let it sit. Uh, you need to let it sit for at least five minutes. So. There was a pair of socks that my kid had taken off and thrown in one of the leather chairs. Um, we don't use these leather chairs because it's just the two of us, so they're more for decoration and they are tucked in under the counter. Uh, there was a little mistake when the counter was built. It is like exactly the same height as those leather club chairs. So they get wedged under there and uh, don't move. So I'm just giving them a wipe down as well. But I had to throw the kid's dirty socks at her because she's hiding in the corner of the couch there which is actually my favorite spot to sit in. So I'm just gonna gather all the blankets. As you can see, none of them were on the couch and uh, neither were the pillows. This is what happens every day. Uh, you guys see me put them on and they fall off. The dog's not them on. I always had to give my baby some love. So that's little Miss Tennessee Nash. So I'm just giving my baby some love in there. Sit beside her mama, Miss Murder Nova. Uh, the kiddo's in the corner there with Mr. Knox Bentley. Just giving him some love, and then I'm going to give Jameson Jax a little bit of love, too. All right, so that antibacterial sat on there for probably about 15 minutes or so. It was a little, little dry when I was trying to wipe it off. Um, but that's just a clean microfiber cloth. No, I think that's actually my dish, dish cloth. This, this cloth, my disc cloth. Oh my god. Uh, I can't really tell. It's either a clean microfiber cloth or no, it's a clean microfiber cloth. Okay, it wasn't my dish cloth. So I just wiped it off um, and then you're good to go. I anti back the counters and the island on the weekend. I don't do it during the week, just on the weekend. So that box there you saw me put down is a DIY little garden kit. Had it for quite a while and the kit has still not done it yet. All right, so we're gonna do a little haul. This is some mail that I received. All factors of purchases, purchased of course. So the first one here is from Beauty Bay, which is a UK beauty brand. So I got myself some uh, makeup there, some palettes and uh, other makeup to try out. Because you know, I do love to do some makeup here on this channel as well. And these are some outfits from Fabletics. If you have never tried Fabletics, yes, it is pricey, but damn, it is worth it. And they usually have sales on. So I love Fabletics. Almost all of my workout here, no, I would say about 50% of my workout here is Fabletics. So um, I got three pairs of pants, two shirts, and a sweater. So uh, I don't know. There's just something about Fabletics. The quality is amazing. They are buttery soft, they are so comfortable, everything just fits perfect. And for reference, I am a size medium in uh, top and bottom right now for Fabletics and sports bras. Everything I wear is a medium. Um, I used to be a small in the pants and in the tops, but still a medium in the sports bras. I do find the sports bras are a little snug, so I'd like to uh, get the mediums. But I just got, you know, um, two outfits there, and then the last one, um, you can wear any of these tops with any of these pants and, and the millions that I have up in my workout room. But um, these are just gray. They're really cute. You can't see the detail on the side. They've kind of got like some venting. And this sweater is the cutest. It's cropped, but it's like 
teddy bear material. It's it's snappy. It's really cute, but you can't see it. So um, yeah, I, I've worn it all already to my training, and I absolutely love it. Um, the rest of my training uh, clothes are Under Armour, Nike, Puma, Cal a lot of Calvin Klein. I would say I have the most Calvin Klein right after Fabletics. So this is a package here from Amazon. Uh, they are some artificial, I think they're eucalyptus branches that I got. Um, they have this really pretty vase and I wanted to put something in it. So I was hoping that they would be tall enough and sure enough they are. So I'm just gonna spread the branches out because uh, obviously they're all packed up tight for packaging and shipping process. So I'm just gonna spread them out a little bit and it looks funny. I, I didn't realize I didn't take a picture uh, or pan over after to see what it looks like when they're sitting down in the vase on the ground But it looks really nice. I'm looking at them right now actually, but um, on the counter it looks kind of funny But it does look really nice now that they've spread out and they've kind of settled So those were just off Amazon and I think the next two boxes are from Amazon as well. It looks like this Oh, um, this is not Amazon, I think. Hold on, let's wait till I open it. Hold on, Melissa, I think it might be some more makeup. Let's see. Yes, that's Morphe, so that's some more makeup. I did an unboxing already earlier on this channel. Um, yeah, I'm a little slow with putting up these cleaning, cleaning videos. So that is the best flavored coffee K-cup sampler ever. You get so many awesome flavors. Uh, ooh, I can't even describe it, but it is my absolute favorite. You can get it off of Amazon. It's relatively uh, well-priced. I think it's very fair and yeah. <clears throat> so my Fiji water, my favorite. And then that's a Slim Fast uh, smoothie kit. I was drinking that just to get all my nutrients in in the morning, but I found out it's actually really bad for you. So I stopped taking it. So I'm just gonna toss the Fiji water into the little bar fridge here in the kitchen. <clears throat> and I'm gonna work in the living room. This is where I spend a lot of my time, either sitting here at the island. Uh, I do a lot of my work and my editing here at the island and I'm just dancing away on this day. Wow, I had the tunes on. Um, and uh, yeah, don't mind me dancing. But I spend most of my time in the back half of the house anyways, so either at the island here in the kitchen or sitting in the corner of the sectional. It's my absolute favorite spot. It's so comfy. So Miss Tennessee broke the zipper. Uh, she was chewing on it and I didn't catch her in time. She broke the zipper on that dog bed, so I ended up just uh, sewing it up. And I didn't realize the Roomba, when you're seeing the camera shake there, the Roomba is smashing into my tripod. I didn't even realize that it had moved the tripod over because I wasn't paying any attention. So I'm just going to dump all the dog toys into their toy bin, which is in the uh, front living room, one of the rooms I never show you guys, and just clean all that up. Getting ready to vacuum. So I'm just picking up some leaves that have fallen off. And uh, I think it was. Oh, that's me asking Kaylee uh, what's the dance moves now because I am clueless when it comes to dancing. Uh, I think it was after this, um, maybe on the Monday or the Tuesday, I went through all those plants and uh, I did get rid of some. I was trying to save some little offshoots that I had, but you know, didn't happen. So yeah, here is me vacuuming with the upholstery attachment on my Dyson. Didn't realize. Now I realize the Roomba had turned my tripod. So I just cut out uh, the couch cleaning because you guys couldn't see it anyways. But that's how much dog hair comes off the couch. Uh, because even though I have those protective covers on, they're waterproof, the dogs knock them off. They're on for five minutes, it looks great. And then the dogs jump on the couch. And the blankets are off and on. I spend a lot of my time readjusting those silly blankets. But I do it so that way that the couch stays nice because the dog's nails, see that Roomba, it was driving me nuts. Um, so that the dog's nails don't uh, pull up the, the chenille. Um, when I bought the sectional, it, it's just a placeholder right now. I'm saving up for a really nice leather sectional. Um, but the girl said, oh yeah, this is, the chenille is the best thing. Uh, if you're not gonna get leather, this is what I recommend for dogs. Yeah, right, well my dogs have uh, ripped up some of the chenille already, so 
just pulls, so I just cut it and you don't really notice it, but it pulls with their nails. It's really frustrating. So yeah, sorry you guys can't really see what I'm doing back there, but you get the gist. I'm just vacuuming. Uh, but that silly Roomba moved my tripod a few times on this day. But yeah, and you can see Miss Murder Nova and Miss Tennessee Nash right up on the couch. There's no blankets. They know they're not allowed up there, but sometimes I just don't even bother. But I am vacuuming back there. You just can't see what I'm doing. See there? I'm saying, oh my god, that Roomba. So let's just vacuum the rest of the uh, back half of the house here. I always say back half. It's not even back half. It's back third. Back third of the house. That's all you guys see. Um, I'm hoping, I, I'm working on some more renovations and I would like to start showing more parts of my house, but uh, I'm just not comfortable with them not being completed yet. Even though you can see my wall there is full of drywall mud uh, that needs to be sanded and painted. I've got quite a few spots, but you know, it's just, just time. I just don't have the time to do all these things. All right, so the vacuuming's all done. Uh, I just didn't feel like mopping right away, so I thought, yeah, we'll get to mopping later. Uh, as I've mentioned before, mopping is my most hated chore, so I just skipped it. Um, so I'm just putting away the clean dishes that we washed earlier after they air dried. So I'm gonna put those away here. And you guys will probably notice a trend. I do dishes quite a lot on the weekend. Um, during the week, I tend to let them it for a day or two but on the weekend I will do multiple loads of dishes by hand just because I can't handle it. Um, I pay more attention to what's going on on the weekends when I'm home doing my thing versus working full-time, uh, going to personal training, walking the dogs, doing all the other things. Outside of the house I tend to overlook the kitchen sink Monday to Friday. Hear me good, my coffee I'm drinking here is cold. I gotta go make a new one, BRB. Yeah, so like I said, here we go, washing some more dishes. Never ending in this house. <laughs> I'm just singing away to the camera. Oh my gosh. I guess I, just my dorkiness was really coming out in this video. Here we go. Good old green gone dish soap. My absolute favorite. I like to get every last drop out of that bottle, man. I, you know what? It's my favorite dish soap. I have tried so many. And I think Dawn Wash is the best, and that has the best scent, in my opinion. I think it's amazing. I love Dawn, the green Dawn especially. I just think it's so good. It's so good.
All right, so that is a pizza stone from Pampered Chef. Um, I used to be a rep probably about 15 or 16 years ago maybe, and I still have every single piece of uh, stoneware and cookware that I had from Pampered Chef way back then. It is amazing quality, and the more you use a stone, the blacker it gets, the more seasoned it gets, the better it cooks. Let's get the very last drop of that done, and then the recycling the bottle goes. So, funny story, this is not the first time this has happened, but um, Tennessee or Jameson had a little accident in the front living room and the Roomba was on and it ran through. It's actually the second time that's happened to me. Um, so I had to completely take the Roomba apart and I wasn't thinking I should have filmed that for you guys to see, how, like to show you guys how I clean it. But uh, I completely stripped it, cleaned it all out, and now I'm just putting it back together. It's a little time consuming getting it apart and putting it back together, but definitely worth it. Especially to get that dog poop out of every little nook and cranny that it seems to get into. So kind of embarrassing that happened. Uh, not once, but now twice. But hey, that's life, guys. Life with dogs, am I right? I also replaced the little spinny brush there you see me uh, screwing in and the roll brushes uh, and uh, the what's it called? Um, the thing where all the dirt goes into. There's like like a vent in there. I replaced that too. Just put all new fresh parts in there. That little thing with the brushes, that's new. Nice clean parts. give it a nice wipe off like I do every week. I never spray the cleaner directly on the Roomba, just on the cloth or the paper towel that I'm using. I hope you guys can't hear Tennessee and Jameson. They are playing tug of war behind me. Uh, they're kind of loud and I'm hoping that you won't be able to hear them throughout this video. OMG guys, can you tell me what time it is? It's laundry time. You guys know I wash a shit ton of laundry in this house considering there's not very many people that live here. So those are the waterproof couch blankets. Um, they take a little longer to dry just because they're waterproof. They do come out a little wet from the washing machine. They're not uh, spun dry as, as much as normal clothes would be, but it is what it is. So, so now I think I'm just going to wash the rest of the blankets and the pillows off the couch. And it uh, just helps everything not smell like dog. It just so nice and fresh. Everything smells like game. You guys can see I use game um, fabric detergent, fabric softener, the game scent beads. Uh, when I'm fluffing up, like air drying the uh, cow print rug that I have down, I fluff that with game um, dryer sheets. Like game is my jam, you guys. I love it. Game smells so good to me. I love it when I put on nice clean clothes and it smells like gain. It's like amazing and the smell lasts forever. It really does. All right, so next, invisible glass on my glass table. Um, I don't always show you that I wash all of the glass pieces, all the glass furniture, but I will at least show you one or two pieces usually every week um, because the dogs uber slobber all over my coffee table. It's the worst defender here, but um, I do wash them all at the same time with the invisible glass, and I am using a Norwex cloth. 
Um, I do have a white one, which is more like paper material. Um, I do prefer it. it. It's in the wash, or well, it's about to go in the wash with the mop heads uh, from the floor, but it, it just works so much better to me. Um, the uh, Norwex window cloth, it's purple there, you can see it there in my hand. You're supposed to be able to use it with just water. I don't find that it gets the dog slobber off well enough with just water, so I still use it with the invisible glass. I just find it works better for me. those lazy knocks on the couch. has got knocks out for a walk. Um, because he's not on the couch with the other three. And actually right now, he's out for a walk while the other three are sitting with him. They do get walked one at a time. They are too competitive. We cannot walk the dogs at the same time or two at once. You're just too contentive to have to walk one by one. And I'm here doing this video, so I'm not out walking. Okay, so now I am going to dust my ceiling fan. So I just installed the ceiling fan. I used to have a pendant, not a pendant, um, a chandelier in the living room here. And I just put the ceiling fan, or well, my dad put it up for me um, this summer. And I absolutely love it. It is six feet across. It is massive. It doesn't look so big here on the video, but that is a, a really, really large cathedral ceiling. So it, it just, I don't know, it doesn't look as big, but it is six feet feet across. It's huge. I love it. So I'm just going to dust, uh, this used to be where I had my TV and just give it all a wipe down. It's just from Ikea. I've had it a long time. Hold my plants. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. So I'm just going to give everything a dust off. And just wait. Guys. Just, just watch. FML. FML. I was just like stunned that that happened. So it's a Scentsy Warmer, uh, it was limited edition, I can't replace it. Now the only good thing is um, I, I kept the, the top of the hat there because that is the kind where the wax gets warmed up not by a light bulb, it gets warmed up by electricity. And I always found that that kind, the cowboy boots are there on the other end as well. Um, I always found that that kind didn't throw the scent very well. I do like the ones with the um, light bulbs better. So I just threw away the pieces. Here's the cowboy boots, it's the same thing. It's not a light bulb, it's, it's electricity that warms it. Um, I just threw away the pieces that, that broke off, all the little bits, and the way I positioned the cowboy hat back on the shelf, you can't even see that it broke. I was really lucky it broke the way it broke, but um, I, I have a second one of those upstairs in my filming room for uh, the makeup and everything as well, but I was pretty bummed that that happened. And just watch, just watch. I was having a day, I don't know what was going on, but wait, wait for it, wait for it. Whoop, see that? Look, so that's my other Scentsy warmer that I got to replace the cowboy hat. Um, and that had liquid wax in it and I knocked it. So some of it did spill out and it hit the wall. So I, uh, I just let it dry and I ended up cleaning it a little bit later, but I don't think I filmed it. So I'm just showing you how much dust I got. It was pretty gross. Okay, so getting the clean laundry out. I'm gonna go put those on the couch in a minute, but let's switch over the rest of the blankets and the pillows so I can get the couch completely put back together. And speaking of, I'm doing laundry right now. It's Monday night. I don't do it all on the weekend. I'm doing my bedding right now. It's too, too much laundry at once, you know? So I spread it out. I do my bedding during the week and just happens to be Monday night that I'm filming this voiceover. <laughs> I'm doing my bedding. 
Does laundry ever end at your house? Leave me a comment down below how much laundry you do. Okay, so there is that white cloth I was talking to you guys about that I used for windows of glass. I have no idea where it's from, it was given to me, but it works amazing. I wash it with all of my mop heads because the white cloth can't have any soap, or sorry, not soap, um, softener, and I put softener in everything except for my mop heads. So bleach, uh, just gain uh, fling, pod, whatever they're called, I think they're called flings, gain fling. I use that and some OxyClean, and that's how I wash my mop heads in that uh, window glass cloth thing. I leave my blinds open 24-7. <laughs> I don't know why, I just don't bother closing them. It really doesn't bother me if my neighbors are all cool. Um, everyone really keeps to themselves, so I, it's not like I'm doing anything that I'm worried about anybody seeing anyway. So I just leave my blinds open. I, I like to have the, um, the lights that I have out all in my garden and on my fence and everything. I like to be able to see those at night, so I just leave, leave the blinds open. I really don't care. So time to feed the baby some like dinner. So this is I'm more of the uh, chicken mix with the bones and the organs. So I always feed Tennessee and Knox first, or sorry, Tennessee and Knox. Tennessee and Jameson first, and then Knox and Nova second. So I don't know what I was doing this night. I didn't put any of their supplements in their dinner. Like, my brain was just obviously not working. I forgot to put their supplements in. They only get supplements at dinner, but I don't know what I was thinking. Now, one thing, I have to rinse those containers right away, because if you leave them, they stink. They smell so bad, they've got to be rinsed right away. Okay, so it is Sunday morning, and look what I'm doing, laundry. So that white cloth I just grabbed there, that was the window and the glass cloth, so I just let it dry overnight. I don't put it in the dryer. But I don't dry my mop heads either. I just chuck them back underneath the dryer. There's, uh, I have the pedestals, so I keep all of the clean mop heads underneath the dryer and the pedestal. So that there is my mattress protector and a... What would you call it? It's not a blanket that fills your whole bed. It's just more of like an accent blanket, like a throw blanket. Um, they're both white, so they got some bleach and all of my favorite game products. So they're going to get a wash. The mattress protector is kind of a pain in the ass because it's um, waterproof, right? So it doesn't get too dry in the spin cycle and uh, yeah, it drives me nuts. But there I'm putting in some game fabric sheets with the cow print rug that's normally in the living room. It's just getting an air flush. I do that so that way it just gets all nice and clean and smells nice because it's really hard to vacuum. So because I did not mop right after I vacuumed on Saturday, I had to suck it up and mop. I just hate mopping so much. Hate mopping. Um, that's one thing that Kaylee usually does for me, but I think she was working on this weekend, um, so she wasn't home. But sometimes she'll surprise me and she'll just mop for me. So, but uh, I guess I'm not on this day. You know what, there's a Tim Hortons cup there. I'm pretty sure she's at work because I wouldn't have went and got Tim Hortons just for the hell of it. I bet you I dropped her off at work and got myself a tip. That's probably what happened. I always treat her to Tim Hortons when I take her to work in the morning. Also, you'll always know it's a Sunday on my channel if I don't announce it because I will be wearing some form of Seahawks attire because of Football Sunday. You'll always know it's a Sunday on my channel.
Mr. Knox loves to eat the mop, loves to attack the Dyson. Like he, I don't know, he's just got his own issues. Now, I will tell you guys, the couch may look nice and put together with the blankets, but I had to rearrange all of that before I started filming because the dogs literally knock it down within minutes of me putting it all back up. It's very rare that the blankets stay on the couch and look decent for the better half of a day. I'm literally constantly putting those blankets back on the couch, but it is what it is. I, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love my dogs. And I'm going to finish up my mopping by doing the playroom slash dining room. I've never used it as a dining room. It's always been a playroom and the front living room that you guys never see. So now it's time for brunch for the babies. So they have scrambled eggs and white rice, uh, just quick rice. And then they get a little treat on top. So everybody gets sardines except for Knox. Knox hates sardines and uh, everybody gets a duck foot or a chicken foot. Lately I have not been able to get chicken feet so it's been duck feet uh, for the past few months actually. Uh, I haven't been able to get chicken feet, I don't know why, and the duck feet are getting hard in demand as well. So Knox uh, on this day got three duck feet um, because I wasn't thinking and I put two sardines in everybody's bowl instead of one duck foot and one sardine. So, I'd make it even so he got three duck feet while everyone else got two sardines and one duck foot. I think initially I wasn't going to give anybody any duck feet, that's what happened. But this here is something relatively new. Um, they don't really like it. They will not eat it on its own. They will eat it if I put it in their breakfast, uh, their Sunday breakfast. But it's goat milk cheese with spirulina. It's really good for their digestive system. Goat milk is great for dogs. Uh, but they will not eat it as a treat on their own. But they will eat it as a throw it in something. So it's just, just something nice. A little treat for their guts. So now I'm going to put away the dishes we washed last night. Tidy everything up. Um, because I'm going to be doing dishes again. Shocker, story of my weekend. Laundry and dishes, I swear. Told you, doing dishes again. So Kaylee, um, she made some, I don't know what you'd call it, we just throw a whole bunch of spices and uh, chicken breasts in chicken stock, and she had made her own concoction last night, but she left the crock pot, sorry, not even the crock pot, the Instapot, she left the Instapot on all night, I didn't notice, and kept the chicken warm all freaking night, so I had to wait till it cooled down earlier. Uh, that day, so now it was cold enough that I was able to take the chicken out, put it in the fridge, and then in the Instapot. But yeah, she left it on all bloody night on keep warm.
That's how we stay alive
there's the living room rug all fluffed up and smelling wonderful. And here is my laundry protector, or my laundry protector, oh my gosh, my uh, mattress protector and my throw blanket from the night before. Because I went to bed without changing the laundry over. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna wash my bedding. So my bedding is gray, and that's actually a Snuggie. So long story short, when Snuggies came out, uh, it was Leopard. My daughter knew I had to have it because I love everything Leopard. Uh, animal Crink is my jam. And she got that for me, oh my gosh, like uh, 15 years ago or whenever they came out. And uh, I do use it as a dog blanket on one of the dog beds upstairs. So Miss uh, Nova was cold, so I let her use my Snuggie as a little blanket on her bed. So I'm just throwing in some of my sheets there, and uh, there was a few hand towels and stuff in the kitchen, so I just threw those in with a load as well. So we're at the end of this game, though. I, I don't like fabric stocker in these bottles. Um, I find that they, they spill everywhere, but that was all that I could get at the grocery store. Uh, they didn't have the big ones. So here I am. There is stocker in there and I'm so frustrated. I'm trying to wiggle it back and forth to get it out of the funky hole that they have on the top of these bottles. Uh, I spilled it all over the floor. Like I was just so frustrated. I like the big ones with the pour spout. Uh, they just work so much better and you know, make a mess with that kind. So I just had to get what I had to get the last time I had bought groceries. So I was really happy to be finished with that. So into the recycling it went. I, I was just happy to be done with it. So now I'm just going to put the rug back and get this all tied up. Which, you know, will last about 10 minutes. But it'll look good for 10 minutes, right? So I kept this clip in. I thought it was super cute. Mr. Knox just wanted some attention. And um, yeah, just watch. He's such a sweet boy. He, just a sweet boy. I think he knew I was recording because he was not listening. And there's Jameson with the squeaky toy. He was just not listening. I was trying to tell him, you, couch, get up on the couch, buddy. And I was like, come on, buddy, let's go. Do you want a T-R-E-A-T? -E Can't say it too loud because the other dog can hear it. Knocks it out with the walk, uh, with Haley on a walk right now. But he finally jumped up on the couch and let me fix the rug. But he was just being really cute. He was just sitting there looking at me all sweet like, hi mom, hi mom, hi mom. And then he was giving me kisses there. So here we go, fixing the blankets, of course. And my earring fell out. Um, so I didn't notice it, but it had fallen out the night before when I was laying on the couch uh, watching college football. It was stuck to the blanket. I just happened to see it when I was putting it back up. So that earring fell out again uh, a few times, I think, and finally I got it to, to stick. I just had to um, close the back a little tighter uh, with, with some needle nose pliers, and it hasn't fallen out since. Knock on wood, it's not gonna fall out. They're not expensive, they're just from Amazon. It's um, just some hoops, different, different sizes, but um, yeah, it fell out quite a few times. I'm just lucky one of the dogs didn't eat it. So here's that mattress protector. It's bamboo, it's really nice and soft, I really like it. It just takes a little bit longer to dry because it's, it's waterproof, it's a little frustrating, but it is what it is. So I didn't, don't spend all weekend cleaning, but I do do most of my cleaning on the weekend. You guys only see that little bit in the back third of the house there, uh, in the laundry that I do, but um, Saturdays is for downstairs, Sundays is for upstairs, except for I do most of my laundry on Sunday. So 
So I was washing some of my pillows. I have six big oversized king pillows on my bed um, and I, I like to wash them every once in a while so I was washing two that day. I love the smell of bleach too. I'm addicted to gain and bleach. I don't know what it is. So as you can see by the lighting, it is much later in the day. I bet you that day my Seahawks were playing probably at 4 o'clock, so it's probably maybe 7 o'clock now. Um, and uh, the next game isn't on for a little bit, so I'm going to go back to my laundry. <clears throat> so we're just going to take care of this, get it all folded up. Now the fitted sheet I don't really care too much about because it's literally just going to go right onto my bed before the next football game starts. And uh, there was some shorts that uh, I had sitting off to the side for donation that uh, I just thought I'd wash before I donated them. So that's what the colored stuff is here in my, my bedding. Yeah, so that was the fitted sheet. I was like, no, not folding it. I will let you guys know, it is a bitch to fold oversized king sheets by yourself. Since I was just putting them right back on the bed, I didn't really care too much, but uh, if I'm switching out my, my sheets uh, to change it for a different color, I have to get help because they're so big, I can't fold them by myself very well. Microphone. My nice boy. You can give you a kiss. Yeah. Okay, hop down. Hop down, bud. I'm gonna smell like I'm running a marathon or something. Your breathing so heavy in my microphone. Okay, hot down. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. What a sweet boy he is. Yeah, so the fitted sheet I started to, and I was like, mm, no. I mean, I did give it a, a, an effort, but yeah, no, forget it. So here we go, the last of my blankets. I I love that blanket. It's like super soft, warm, fleecy. I don't know, it's by Calvin Klein. It, it's just amazing. If you can find it, I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond. I got one for my bed and for Kaylee's bed and they are so soft. And here's your weekly reminder to clean out your lint trap in your dryer. the earring it fell out again but I think after this is what I think
natural repellent and then they get a fish oil capsule which helps with their skin and their, their fur uh, as well as uh, heart health as well. So just feed on the babies and then give a quick tidy up here <clears throat> and then I went and had my shower. Yep, there we go. So all dry, hair is blow dry, we're all clean. I know I did a mask because I do a mask every Sunday night. So I'm just flipping over the last load of my laundry and then that would be it for the rest of the night for me. So hope this gave you guys lots of motivation, especially cleaning and laundry because that's what I seem to do a heck of a lot of on Saturday and Sunday, but it's not what I spend most of my weekend doing. I watch a lot of sports, especially football. <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys and thank you for watching. I'll catch you next week in the next cleaning video. Bye guys.